So that was a three part question. Sorry about that. And that was number four. Uh, number five is asking which are Lewis acids and which are Lewis bases. So Lewis acids, sorry, acids versus bases. So again, I've, I have five compounds here. So I have CO, CO3 plus, I have BCL3, OF2, CL minus, and CO2. So it's asking what, what, what are Lewis acids and what are Lewis bases and which one are they, right? So um, I like this solution here because it's saying it's giving us a definition, right? So it says Lewis acid here is any species that can accept a pair of electrons. So again, again, if you think of an acid, it's accepting electrons, right? So in this case, we thought we, we if you recall from uh, Bronsted Lowry theory, we're accepting a hydrogen. A Lewis acid is much more broad as we're saying that it's accepting a pair of electrons here. So basically a Lewis or I'm gonna say LA or for Lewis acids here can accept pair of electrons in E minus. So therefore a Lewis base here obviously is going to uh oh, sorry, it's going to donate, right? Is it it says Lewis acid can accept a pair of electrons and all cations, and then Lewis base can donate here. That's good. So it can donate pair of electrons here, right? So now we have to look at our look at our look at our look at our chemical formulas here. We're asking, okay, what can what can accept electrons and what can donate electrons here? So let's look at CO2 or CO3 plus, right? That's the first one here. CO. Oh, there we go. CO3, sorry, three plus here. And this here, I have CO3 plus here. Um, this here, again, if I, if I drew the, uh, the, Lewis, uh, the Lewis structure for this guy here, I would get something like this. I would get basically this carbon here, bonded oxygen, bond oxygen, bond oxygen. And again, these two guys here, um, and I have a charge of three plus, right? So, um, it could probably one of these guys would make a double bond here, and then I would get lone pairs here, lone pairs here, lone pairs here, and a lone pair here, right? So again, this here, this here again isn't very very stable because if you look at our carbon here, it has a lone pair, right? It has a positive charge here. It wants to accept a pair of electrons here, right? So this here, it wants to accept probably like an electron from uh, from from hydrogen or something like that um, or something else to basically help uh, help uh, uh, or not not accept but it's going to basically yeah it's going to accept their pair of electrons here so that it can um, it can rearrange its shape right so again here it says co2 after cleaving one pi bond from co2 there's a negative charge over the carbon atom which makes it a lewis acid right so again if i were to depronate or depronate in the sense that i were to uh basically um uh, basically remove one of these uh, one of one of these pairs of electrons here it's going to be uh, it's going to be uh, ready to accept a pair a pair of electrons here so co3 here co3 positive is a good uh, is a good Lewis acid and same with um, and they wrote here BCl3 right so I have boron tri boron trichloride here and there's so here boron trichloride looks something like this Again, I have a lone pair on uh, a lone pair on on boron here, right? A lone pair on boron here. Again, boron we can say it can make three bonds here, but it can also um, hybridize to make more than three bonds. Right? Because boron very readily accepts electrons from other molecules, which generally behaves as a Lewis acid, right? I could I could actually get BCl4 here, and if I, I could actually accept another pair of electrons here on chlorine and make maybe BCl4, that would make it a tetrahedral shape, right? So boron's actually very very good because it can accept. It's always a good uh, Lewis acid because it can always accept uh, pairs of electrons. So B. B, C, L, 3 are both uh, Lewis acids. So Lewis acids. Let's go to OF here, OF2 here. OF2 here. So let's look at OF2. Again, if I'm looking at the Lewis structure here, I have O bond F 
font f here and then i have again a lone pair on here and a lone pair here right so in this case uh, uh lewis okay lewis bases they can always donate a pair of electron to an electron acceptor right so again you can donate to uh to bcl3 for example and make a bond right so you, for example here of2 has two pairs of electrons it can share with right i have one pair here and one pair i can donate these electrons to uh to another um to another species to uh, to create a uh, to create a base here. So this here OF two here is a great Lewis base. And same with Cl minus and CO two, right? So CO two or CO two is actually uh, CO two is actually an acid here. But CL, let me look at Cl minus here first. Again, Cl minus. Again, if you look at the structure here, one, two, three, four. Five, six, and then seven, eight. I have eight electrons here. Very, very easy for me to donate a pair of electrons here. I have four pairs of lone, lone pairs of electrons. I can always donate a pair of electrons here to get to, for example, hydrogen here. I can donate this to make HCl, right? So again, chlorine minus is a good conjugate base of HCl, which means it, therefore it's a Lewis base, right? So that's great. And then finally, I have CO2, right? So CO2 here. So CO2, if I look at the, if I look at the structure here, again, I have, again, lone pairs on carbon here, I have two lone pairs on carbon here, and these can, I can obviously donate these electrons to somebody else for me to, uh, for me to create a base, right? So it's actually very, very cool. You have here, you have CO3, CO3 plus, and CO2 here. And CO3 plus behaves as a Lewis acid. This here is a Lewis base. You can think of this as conjugate ace, acid and base pairs, right? You can think of these two as conjugate acid. Uh, this acid here, I know CO3 plus is my acid. The conjugate base of that, if I were to depronate it, I would get a conjugate base here, which is a base, a Lewis base here. So Lewis acid here and a Lewis base. So again, the same thing, you can think of this concept as conjugate acid and conjugate base. However, we're extending it to uh, Lewis acids and Lewis bases, where we're uh, expanding the definition as to accept or donate electrons. So this here solution is correct. Good analysis.